Russian investigators claim they have evidence that a Ukrainian fighter jet brought down Malaysian flight MH17, killing the 298 people on board. And they are willing to share it with the International Committee looking into the tragedy. An alleged whistleblower approached the Russian media with the claims. Our correspondent Murad Gazdiev joins us now with more details. Murad, um, this new evidence that uh, was supposedly has broken through, what can you tell us about it? Well, investigators are uh, taking these alleged revelations uh, very, very seriously. They've now met with this source, this man, and he took a polygraph test, a lie detector test, which they say he passed uh, without any problems. They say his story is solid, uh, that he wasn't confused about any of the details. What's more, it meshes with the facts that the Russian uh, investigators already have about Ukraine's role uh, in the downing of MH17. Now, of course, if this turns out to be true, this would be sensational news. Um, what exactly did this man have to tell the media? Well, appa apparently this source uh, served at an airfield in eastern Ukraine from which Ukrainian military jets launched airstrikes against the dissident east. And on the 17th of July, uh, the day that MH17 went down, he says he witnessed a Su-25 uh, fighter jet belonging to the Ukrainian Air Force take off with uh, air anti-air missiles equipped when it came back from its mission apparently those missiles were no longer there presumably having been uh, launched and uh, the pilot a certain captain Voloshin uh, when he got out of the aircraft he was apparently visibly shaken and uh, here's what he had to say the Ukrainian government has confirmed that there is a Captain uh, Voloshin in its air force, but it maintains that on the 17th of July, on that day, none of its aircraft were flying uh, any missions. As for the source, this alleged witness, his identity for now is being uh, protected because he still has family in Ukraine. Okay, with the very latest uh, news there, that's a correspondent, Murad Gazdiev, thank you.